I hope you can aim this time. Oh! Who threw this thing at me? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and today I am finally watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. It has been six years since the last Guardians of the Galaxy. For me, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy, I think in 2021, at the beginning of 2021. So it hasn't been that long for me, but I still feel like I have waited long. We did get a Christmas special, which I was very happy to see. I just miss Gamora. I miss her so much. I wish there was some way to bring her back. And I know Peter Quill is still grieving for her and it's all really sad. James Gunn has directed this one again. So he's directed all three of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and he's also taken part in writing the script. So we know he does a great job. This particular Guardians of the Galaxy movie though is rated the highest and everybody seems to love it. I haven't received any spoilers. All I've heard is that you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. I thought it was only available for America, but I checked Amazon Prime and it was miraculously available. I thought I'd have to wait until August the 8th, but here I am reacting to it. But before we jump into this reaction, I wanna quickly remind you guys about the Patreon version. That is gonna be linked in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. For the uncut version, you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. There will be a timer. I can be on one screen and the movie can be on the other screen. Besides uncut reactions, you can also find early access to my content, bloopers, behind the scenes, life updates, BTS, and down below is all of my social media handles as well. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Place, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. So guys, let's jump into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I don't know, actually. They look like they could be related to Rocket. I forgot what Rocket is. A raccoon, right? I wouldn't put your hand in there. I feel like it would bite you. Rocket. Is this, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo? Oh, it is. He seems so sad. And Diesel is Groot. So good. Hey, Mantis. Only idiots dance. Only idiots dance. I'm a widow. I don't belong here. He's down bad. Star Lord is drunk. Raccoon. raccoon. I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> he literally passed out on the floor. How many drinks would a grown man have to drink in order to pass out like that? I don't even want to know. Again? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, get hyped! Oh, that amount of dedication to his woman, and she's not even around. So sad. I got emotionalistical issues. What am I gonna Emotionalistical? Ooh. <gasps> Stab Nebula. She's okay, though. What was she wearing underneath? Let's, let's, let's go back him, you know, to Gamora. Make him happy. I am Groot. Groot. No. <laughs> Groot. About that time you made me fall in love with my sock. Well, wow, that was funny. I guess it's back to one of us touching him the other way. Maybe we should draw straws. No one ever meant that, Drax. <laughs> Drax. Yo, this dude, I'm pretty sure was in Black Mirror. He's so sad too. Ouch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? Oh, him. <laughs> the guy I was just talking about. Where did you go, squirrel? Squirrel. <laughs> you always get what he is wrong. <gasps> Ooh, nice work, Nebula. He's okay, though. <gasps> oh, he's strong. What's he doing? Yes, Grudy. Yes. Kill him. I mean, okay, maybe don't kill him yet. We don't know why he's here. And what if this is like... Peter's long lost brother or something. Ego could have done it with so many people at this point. Or maybe he has news about Gamora. Oh! Grudy! Yeah, dude. I hope you can aim this time. Oh! Who threw this thing at me? Oh, God. Baby. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Ouch! What the hell is this guy made of? Yes, Drax. Hey, that did something. Go, Draxy. A sign. <laughs> he still gets back up. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with Rocket? Is Peter drunk again or something? Why is his response time so slow? I think he is. Oh gosh, Nebula is not okay either. Please, nothing bad happened to Rocket. Oh my gosh, Nebula's coming for you. If that doesn't kill this dude, I don't know what will. 
Hell yeah, Nebula. Oh wow, those med packs are very good. Oh gosh, is Rocket dying? Oh, he's foaming at the mouth. Rudy. Rudy has to grow again. At least he's alive. He's got a past. He's got a dark and sad past, which I honestly never thought we'd explore because he was always like a, a side character in the crew. I've done some sort of surgery on him. Brain procedure. Maybe that's why he can talk. It's okay. Looks like they do You're a lot of experiments. Poor Rocket. He's, he's shaken. Oh. Oh. He needs some panadine fort. Just got out of surgery. This is so heartbreaking. Okay. They took him when he was a baby and just experimented on him. He'll die if we oh. operate on him. And he'll die if we don't. What do we know about where Rocket came from? He won't talk about it. Much Never of the talk was the world to anyone. Work. He's got maybe forty-eight hours. Forty-eight hours? Kill anyone who gets in our way. <laughs> Not kill anyone. Kill a few people. Kill no people. <laughs> one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. You're just making it sad. <laughs> I will not. Take it back. I Poor Doggo. I like that he's in work mode now. He's got a purpose. He's got to save his friend Rocket. No more time for drinking. Hey, <laughs> Groot's looking much better. They don't have a lot of time though. Like 48 hours is not long. <laughs> At least he had a fun time in here with his other mates. I wonder what happened to these people. 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 Beautiful numbskulls. I was stabbed, you extraordinary <laughs> I like that they're yelling, but they still call him extraordinary. He's been looking for Rocket for ages. It's like this guy causes these people a lot of pain. Ah, oh, just got stabbed and tortured. Ooh, this place looks very interesting. It's a massive organ of some sort. Weird organ, though. <laughs> the Orgoscope. Orgoscope HQ. Mora isn't dead. She is to us. Oh. Is <laughs> she is to us? They gotta stop saying Gamora's dead. And they just like get to know her again. I don't know why. He's never even gone to see if he's okay. He could still be alive. Why don't they go? Be like 90 something years old. People on Earth die when they're like 50. No, they, they die don't. When they're 50? I don't know. That's even the point of being born. Exactly. <laughs> Are you about to die? I'm not 50. <laughs> And maybe I wanted a Zark nut. It's too late. They're all gone. Drax! You're still eating them, though. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. No. Or you can die. How is up to you? <laughs> the, the perky, upbeat voice. Let's just talk about this, guys, please. We have an appointment. With who? With Gamora. With Gamora. <laughs> what? You're early. Gamora's in this movie? <gasps> she remembers her sister, but she doesn't remember the last few years. This Orgo is Corp huge. Hey, Sylvester so Stallone. Attention. Almost forgot. Flashes with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the emoji. You gotta do what Rocky says. Tell me that you've been in contact with Gamora. Because I didn't want you to get freaked out. Freaked out. Pictured you as the ravage type. She's probably like, Who are you? Who are you again? <laughs> God. Orgo and help you save the hedgehog. <laughs> hedgehog. Mm. At least Groot's here staying with Rocket. Somebody is here with him in case he dies. They run out of time. He's functioning as Skyrocketed. Sky Rocket. Rocket. That's, That's how correct. he got his name. Smart little. That's the new world. Smart little Rocket. It blew. Mm. That's the sky. This recording is over 5,000 years old. Wow. An imperfect clump of biological matter such as you. Jeez. This guy's playing God. Organism through millions of years of programmed evolutionary. That is a long time. Oh, cursed. Oh, oh, wow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Da -da 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 now. Oh my gosh. Or maybe not. It can't. 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 The way he rolled his eyes. Have some patience. Suppress the lighting the glycosylated salts is. Wow. The oligobeta microsamina proteins. Yeah, thems. And then angry turtles. Oh, he is smart. I didn't realize how smart Rocket actually is. Wild. It must be so weird working with his ex. 
like this. Nebula is so cool. Stop the music, must be serious now. That person was some alternate future version of me. It wasn't me. We loved each other. Why is she being so cruel? Cool? I miss you God. so much. There's a possibility. I don't think so, Quinn. Oh my God, it's so mean. Quill. 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 <laughs> Quinn. You know this is an open line, right? Uh, blue, for the blue suit. Oh, no. That stopped blue the music. Blue is the open line for everyone. Oh. Orange is for blue and red is That for is yellow. so confusing. Yellow, yellow is for yellow. How the hell am I supposed <laughs> to know all of that? Seems intuitive. Can intuitive? Ugh. Ugh. I'm accessing the eye. Accessing the eye? The literal eye. Who else misses Firefly? I do. Burning a hole through Good the wall. Actor. You geniuses, you just... Throw the door open. What procedure, bro? Oh, you want bro. us to read the manual for you too, bro? You can't kill <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> I'm angry too. Oh my God, Drax, it's you're ruining it. Boss's nephew, he's a little... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. That was so good, dude. Our space suits! Oh. Why don't you ever think? Are we oh, pretending to be Mantis. angry again? Mantis, you... <laughs> I love track. You know, Gamora's hair has faded over the years. It's a lot brighter. Maybe it's just because it's wet. I mean, that happens with dyed hair. I can relate. Hopelessly in love with him. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Drax. The look. What, what was your, your name again? Drax the Destroyer. Drax the Destroyer. Such a lovely name. <laughs> Mantis is dying. <laughs> My name is Still Gwyn amusing Star to her, though. Right. They need Mantis to convince her. How? Pure Star Lord charm. Oh, I bet it's gonna fail. My name's Patrick Swayze. Noticing you. Patrick Swayze. We need your hand. Oh, it's your turn. what are you doing? Gamora. She was totally into me, man. I kind of thought you were a douchebag. <laughs> Gamora's method. Oh, is crazy. But it worked. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it wasn't me. It sounds more like her. Huh? That's ridiculous. Do not bring me into <laughs> Nebula. Oh my gosh, the way he's looking at Nebula now. Uh, Knock it off! What? Don't look at me like a lost puppy. <laughs> so awkward now. I never noticed how black your eyes were. Weird compliment, bro. Uh oh, they don't have a lot of time now. Mantis can easily get spacesuits to get out of here she can just use her powers Nathan <laughs> Fillion he must feel like an idiot I got a plan what is it is it, you is it violent holy crap the more is wild violent rage see this is why Mantis is super resourceful they should never have separated from her kill that one that looks like a character showing me business <laughs> yeah Nebula seems like an angel compared to Gamora right now we used to be in love TMI. Everyone else who died in the past stayed dead. Not her. Why? Was it the magic cliff? I don't know. Not some freaking infinity stone scientist. <laughs> Came back a total dick. <laughs> what is like, I don't need to know this. We don't want any uh, <laughs> oh. oh. Gamora. Oh my goodness. Gamora, it really is mean. Oh. What happened to the dude that's in love with him? He does not look okay. Oh, shoot, Magoo. She didn't run. She went back for him. Mantis is an angel. No, 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 no. Oh! They came to save Rocket, and now Drax is dead. Is he dead? He got shot twice. He's not moving, Nebula's bleeding. I will listen if I speak to them from my heart. Oh, he's so sweet. Please. Wow. Isn't that the guy that was in love with Drax? Nice aura. Tell them your truth. Yeah, I'm not that big of an idiot. I just needed to get into the system. <gasps> oh, good. Peter? <laughs> he did well. Hey, and Drax is okay. I thought he died, man. He got shot in the back and then in the front. And here's Groot. Just in time. I would like my name to be... Lila. Oh, that's a pretty name. That's a pretty name, Lila. Yo, that's what I said. Shelby Teeths. That suits because... you. Need be called Floor because me is lying on floor. <laughs> I mean, everyone's lying on the floor. 
<laughs> but okay. Me and my friends are gonna go flying together into the forever and beautiful sky. What a dream. Rocket. I like that he came up with his own name. Looks like one of the high evolutionary's recorders. Owners of the universe consider him God. Yeah, they do. As he plays it. Yes. Yes, what? That he's Groot? He said maybe this man downloaded the passkey into the computer on his head. Huh? Passkey. Grooty is we smart. He's onto Rocket. something. What he wants is that gutted badger in the med bay. Gutted badger? Trap isn't a trap if you know the trap is trying to trap you. It's a face off. A face off <laughs> is a trap if you're facing off against a guy a thousand times more powerful than you. She has got a point. I know. That's who you still are. Somewhere inside of you. <laughs> She's had it with him. I don't give a sh about your Gamora. Holy Life made me me. She's brutal. It hurts to see her like this. It really does. Show him we mean business. Oh my God. What more business could we have shown him? But no, he's of no use to us. Well, let's just question the man's friend. This guy just goes from zero to 100. He looks sad. I really don't enjoy how that's making me feel, actually. <laughs> Your friend's a moron. I got one of those too. I get it. <laughs> Salutations. Salutations. I need you guys to come pick me up. She's an idiot. Straight up. She is an idiot. So pretty. Is Drax going to mess it up, though? <laughs> He's so close. Spent your entire life leaping from woman to woman as if they are lily pads upon this great pond. <laughs> Learn to swim. That actually made sense. Oh, lots of analogies, Quill. Analogies, metaphors, etc. Hey, stop there. For instance, Gamora's head is like a lily pad because it is green. Mm. Analogy. Stop. Metaphor. Stop is there. It? I made a poop shaped like a fish even my butt is capable that's of a simile <laughs> oh no what is going on now oh my gosh he's treating him badly here why is he chucking him oh kangaroo rabbit monkey i don't want to see this this is so cruel but how did you know he's going crazy on me made you compliment him say that you always knew it sire it was in the back of your head and that's it, how it i know that's a good thing why are you mad at him we're going to the new world we not him this medley of mistakes we could learn from and apply to the creatures that truly mattered oh my lord hp 9 was never meant for the new world p13 oh you god oh he looks like he's gonna cry but that brain oh, he is so cool don't say incinerate it. them incinerate them he loves incinerating animals his poor friends this is a great soundtrack hey maybe a version of his dad will be here <laughs> instead of the statue of liberty i don't understand the purpose of this just because he could do it he did it slow-mo they look very interesting though at least oh look at the little kid Oh, Drax! It's gonna be hard to communicate with them. They don't speak the same language. Hide you! Whoa! No! No, Groot! It's not rude. It's what it's here for. Drax has no clue. No etiquette at all. My friend is a dumbass. That's the same as you're dying. Why do you criticize everything? I know. Picks on Mantis. To draw the man that we're looking for. Let's see how he does at drawing. Have you seen this man? That's very good. Can I have that later to hang on my apartment, please? Yeah. <laughs> he's just tooting his horn. Same? Oh, he's going by him. He's going. What? Just Push him. Down. I am pushing down on it. And Groot. Push the button. Oh, Nebula. There's a button under the handle. Press that in. Just get out and do it for her. Now what? Open the door. <laughs> he, he swore. He is really bad. He's worse than me at driving. Gamora seeing this entire thing. Hey, at least he's driving straight now. I hope she doesn't kill him or something. She's pretty mean. That's a photo of his family. Oh, homeless people in this perfect world as well deals going on on the side streets i'm still exists i don't know if this really is the perfect society what he has a human as a hamster oh, they are not nice he's making something they want to kill us all in the morning but i'm gonna fix it i hope you can dude 
Maybe the reason why he never talks about his past is, is because he failed it's at saving key. his friends. We'll all fly away together. The four of us. Okay. Everyone's got to be on board. You did it! You did it! It worked! You're, it you're worked for all of the cages. <gasps> <gasps> oh no. Oh, Lila. Oh. Oh, dude, this is so heartbreaking. And she never got to see the sky, the real sky. He is in distress. Oh, yes, Rocket. Yes. Oh, oh wow. Yes, Rocket. Get your revenge. Shoot. Shoot him. Yes. Holy crap, Rocket. Shoot your maker now. Uh, he's not going to because we know that Make is still around. Oh, his buddies. His buddies. His buddies are dead. He's got to get out himself. By himself. I knew something must have happened to his friends. Because obviously, present day Rocket never talks about his past. And we've never seen his old buddies. What a traumatic past. Get out of here, bud. We gotta get out of here. See how smart he is? He managed to do this all on his own. I'm just... I never knew I needed to see a Rocket backstory. But I'm so glad that they've included this. How alone would you feel? They're just in the burbs. Oh! We're we'll right back to the ship. Just right over there? BS. Don't believe him. They don't need to ride to get to the ship. I want to see if he's still got the scratch marks on his face. I never noticed them before. It inspired me to create counter -earth. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I don't need another speech by some impotent whack job whose mother didn't love him, rationalizing why he needs to conquer the universe. Yeah, he's bored of this story. The universe. I'm perfecting it. And that sounds familiar. That sounds like Thanos. I even pick up the toilet paper that fell on the floor. <gasps> hey! Drop the badger. Yes, Gamora cares. <gasps> oh! Sheesh, dude. Better universes generally don't include a bunch of octopuses selling to guys with cockroach heads. Yeah, were you aware? They do not. He's not aware. Which is why, as I've done many times before, I'm going to have to raise it all and start again. What? What? <gasps> is he serious? <gasps> no. Okay. Okay. Whoopi sounds subject. a lot different to what I'd expect. Yes, Gamora! <laughs> she takes her job seriously. Oh! We've got a few people wanting to grab rockets. The screen just turned bigger. It's being destroyed already. I thought Counter Earth would have more time. Gamora should be used to this. Like, her dad is just like this guy. Not about, like, creating species, but making the perfect universe and destroying universes set for population control. A little bit different, but still. All these dudes are the same. Mom looks like she died. I need you to bring the ship here now. Where the hell are you? Drax, you idiot. What is it gonna do? Uh... I mean, that didn't really kill people. They're just... Yeah, it's okay. He was still alive, though. Maybe it created enough smoke. It was a nice distraction. Now they can shoot everybody. Okay, I see what he's done. All right. <laughs> Groot's awesome because he has like a million hands. Yes, Grootie. Yes, you are. Come on. Oh. That's close. Somebody save Mantis. Oh, she can save herself. Oh, yep. yep she's okay. She's okay. Ah! I don't know if jumping was the right idea, but hopefully he lands somewhere safe. Oh, yes, Fruity. Oh, the wings. Fruit's so talented. Holy crap. She does not know how to fly that thing. Um. Oh, ouch. That would be very painful. Oh, my gosh. Move to the side. Dude, this is so dangerous. They could have died. That's the last time she flies the ship. Oh, good. Drax, you saved everyone. Holy, that's a lot of people. So depressing. Rocket and Gamora are probably dead because of you. Oh. It's not his fault. He's stupid. Oh. He's a liability. He makes us laugh. Yeah. He loves us. He's the only one who doesn't hate himself. I Dude, don't care if he's stupid. She's speaking truths. You think I'm stupid? 
I'm, yes. You are, though. But it's fine. We haven't had present Rocket at all in this movie. It's really saddening me. Oh, it's Nyla. Nyla? It's like he's in heaven already. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The guilt he's carried. It's not your fault. I tell you. It's not we your right. fault. The sky is beautiful. And it is forever. And I've been flying with our friends. That was always the dream. That's why he doesn't talk about his past. This is the enormous guilt. It's no. not your time yet. It's, you're not ready. They went through so much. They went through so much to get him. No! They went through so much. Well, I'm not gonna lose him. He's gone. I'm not letting him go. <laughs> you can't lose another person. I mean, another friend. But not yet. Oh, good. We still have a purpose here. Oh. Oh. My beloved raccoon story has been yours all along. Didn't it's the you know main it? character. I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> it's the last thing he says to Lila. I'm not a raccoon. Uh, classic. Oh. He's back. He's back. Family. Gamora's just standing there. Hey, at least this made us smile. Why are you on the ship? Just saying. You, obviously. No, I told you to go back. You gotta know by now I always figure out an incredibly clever way to get out of a fix. <laughs> We're all okay. That's the first time they've heard his voice. Rocket? Yes. Yeah, he's here. And he's okay. Oh, such a relief. Oh, they're crying. You'd like to joust, would you? I wish this guy would die. They will die unless you bring me what is mine! Screw you, you stretch faced <laughs> Robocop looking skeletal. Stretch face. Peace up. <laughs> we really let him have it. God, he's so unhinged. Putrid in every other way, but 89P13 had that. Putrid. Whew. I do not want your mission to be successful. Ooh. Jup, jup. Joop joop? They're like Groot. The only thing they say is joop joop and Groot. Only I says I am Groot. Stay away from the starboard walls. Joop joop? Joop joop? You know, three freaking joop. No! Listen to me! Stay away from the freaking what the hell are you doing, man? Explaining it! <laughs> Finally! I was waiting for her to go off at Nebula. Hello, dumb idiots. <laughs> she liked when I made monkey noises. Oh, is he gonna do that? That's not a monkey noise, dude. How's that a monkey? That's a, he's making robot noises. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, speaking of both. See, he ain't so stupid. I think Gamora's starting to warm up to everyone. I love these songs. These songs are great. LFG. Ooh. I wish all of his experiments just turned against him. They need to lock him. Oh, don't tell me that. Hellspawn are terrifying. And there are so many of them, too. They're very, very strong. What the heck is Kraglin gonna do? He's basically useless. Meanwhile, everyone's trying to reason with the leader, and he's just not having it. Ooh, that's something you find in the deep, deep ocean. Holy smokes, dude. They are trapped. This is how I feel when I'm when I'm entering a boss fight. <laughs> I'm just like trying to run away. I'm trying to find anywhere I can just run to. But the boss always catches up to me. He saved her. He's in. Hopefully. <laughs> Look at that. They're having a moment. They're having a moment. Mom and dad, please get back together. This is so scary. Is she gonna try and change their minds? Stop. Shut up, Nebula. Honestly, Maybe Nebula's been so annoying. This is why Nebula is just the worst out of them all. Like, she's super smart and helpful and great in her own ways, but she's just so condescending. Like, look at this. Mantis is doing a great job. Mantis is so resourceful. And I think she deserves more respect being Peter's sister. Oh, Yondu. I hope he succeeds this time around. If he doesn't, I'll be very surprised because we just got a Yondu scene right here. Yes! 
Hell yeah! See, it's such a good weapon when used correctly. Although his whistling reminds me of the Seraphites from The Last of Us 2. So I'm traumatized. Tell Cosmo she's a good girl. She's a good dog. Oh yeah! <laughs> Right, get off me, it's so mean to Cosmo for no reason. This is what I wanted. I wanted his people or his creatures to turn on him because he's not okay. A mutiny needed to happen and it was bound to happen. <gasps> he had a self-destruct mode as well? That was unexpected. Don't tell me he survived his self-destruction mode though. Because that would be really... Oh, he did. He did. And all of the mutineers died. Can't expect any of the lower workers to turn against him. They don't work with them this closely. They don't know how crazy he is. Oh, these guys are probably working with them now, though. Yeah, they each have one. Did that look cool? Answer her question. Did it look cool? Rocco wants to redeem I'm himself. He wants to save since he couldn't save his friends. Beastie Boys. Okay. And Groot and Rocket working together. I've missed that. Yo, slow my rocket. Yeah. I bet people in Brooklyn really love this song. <laughs> oh, ouch. Bro, uh, her poor head. Oh my goodness. I wonder what would actually kill Nebula. No. Slay. Tell, Tell Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Like, I don't know. I don't this know. song would have super addictive. addictive. Good job, guys. That deserves a round of applause. Who forgets the where they live? Scoop nowhere. Hello, moron. <gasps> Why does he have to call him that? I am Groot. For the last time, I know your name. God, I'm so over this guy that just... I think I spoke too soon. I was going to say that just won't die. And he just passed out. But he's good at that. He's good at passing out and then um, he's fine. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I was screaming at something scary behind you, not you. You look really cool. <laughs> nice lying. Locking up, Captain. Go, Cosmo. That's a good girl. Yay! <laughs> what a high stress work environment. Can Mantis, like, convince this guy not to be annoying? Why? Everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, good. This is your chance, buddy. Placebo effect. I am strong. Oh, he's helping the kids. Of course he would. He's setting everybody free. It's time to redeem yourself, Rocket. Not that you needed to be redeemed. It wasn't your fault, but for your own peace of mind. Oh, look at the baby rockets. Oh, the baby rockets. They're so cute. Oh, we kept the key. So opener, what's taking you so long? Hurry. The other guy could catch up and find you. I would be a little bit faster. Species Procyon Raccoon. He knows what he is now. Adopt them all. Oh, he is. Oh, they have a place to belong now. My heart's full. What about the rest of them? He can't adopt them all. That would be too much. Oh, he knows he can't save them all. He can't take them all. I knew the he high evolution would come. He was taking so long, I knew that the high evolution would catch up. He's such an egomaniac. He's just jealous. He's jealous. The name's Rocket Raccoon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shoot him more, like just shoot him heaps. <laughs> Hell yeah. Final boss fight. And you get people to help you. Gamora. She be the one that kills him? Ugh. Ooh. I actually wasn't curious to see what he looked like on him. It's a mess. Ew. Oh, this is this is gory. This is graphic. Kill him. Don't hesitate. He does not deserve to live. Are you serious? Why? Because I'm a freaking guardian of the galaxy. So somebody else do it then. Gamora, Gamora, you don't have a problem with killing, you do it. The rest of them. Everybody can just live nowhere. Find a home somewhere. Nowhere. Wow. <laughs> Mantis, why? Wow, this does not look good. Uh... Okay. How is... He's just gonna die. He's gonna... Why did he do that? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way they could do this. There's no way. I'm... Oh my god. So that's it? They would do that? What about... What about another version of him? Oh, this dude. This dude save... He redeemed himself. He's saving him. Maybe it's not too late. I can't believe that Peter Quill the Star-Lord would just die like that. 
that look cool. Oh my god, Peter. He needs several med packs. I don't like how Gamora is just not included in the hug. He just refuses to be a part of this. Even this guy is a part of the hug somehow. Oh, there we go. He's come in. She's just gonna walk away. I'm Groot. Thanks. Just tell them I'm gonna be right. Hey, she understood. Wow. I mean, she's come a long way from the start of the movie to now. You know, I'm still not who you want me to be. I know. She's well, getting who you there. Are ain't so bad. I bet we were fun. At least something from her. All the adventures, the teamwork. They were like mom and dad. Just open your heart. <clears throat> <laughs> my mother died in front of me when I was eight years old, and I have been running ever since. Oh, he's gonna go back to Earth. Learn how to swim. Ooh, he actually listened. Well. I need to discover what I want. I'll come with you. No, trucks. <laughs> trucks. That's the whole point. Defeats well, the purpose. Because of your incredible weakness. Oh my gosh, you're so frustrating. <laughs> you were born to be a dad. That's touching. You will make a better leader than I ever was. He's Captain. smarter. Did you ever think you'd be a leader of anything, Rocket? I love you guys. Whoa! Biggest shock of the movie. Groot saying something other than I am Groot. <sighs> Pete. Oh, that's good. He has some music. 2000s. Florence and the Machine. <laughs> this is the last time the Guardians are going to be together for a while. This is really sad. Oh, she's going with those things. Sylvester Stallone. I mean, she belongs here with the Ravagers. Oh, this is so wholesome. What a wholesome ending. I like that Nebula's getting into it as well, since she's so hard. Oh, we get to see this part. Everything grows with love. Oh, he's still around and he doesn't look that old. It's like he knew. He knew straight away. How? Wow. Oh, I wish he came sooner. That's so sad. He's such a natural dad. <laughs> oh, he'll be great to them. Days are over. Dark days are over. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this one's kind of special. Captain. Oh, come and get your love. Nostalgia. Whoa. Group, wake up. Holy crap. Groot's so much bigger now. Okay. That's a lot of them. Townsfolk can't protect themselves. They don't have a chance. It's the Guardians. Come and get your love. <laughs> Alien abduction. Kevin Bacon shares all. Oh, a little Easter egg. The legendary Star-Lord will return. Okay, good. So I just learned that James Gunn has signed on to work with the DC, which is such a shame because he really made Guardians of the Galaxy probably the best franchise within a franchise. Phase 4 hasn't been strong at all, but this is definitely the strongest film in Phase 4. I cannot fault it. I loved it so much. It had humor. It had great adventure. All of the characters in the Guardians of the Galaxy, I feel like, were fully rounded, fully formed in this film. The post credit scene, it said that the Star-Lord will return, but I do wonder in what capacity he will return because I can't personally imagine Guardians of the Galaxy without James Gunn. He's just a treasure to the MCU and it's such a shame to see him moved on, but you know, he has every right to move on. He probably wanted a change. He probably got bored of the same thing and wanted to move on and that I can't fault him for. But thank you, James Gunn, for making Guardians of the Galaxy just freaking awesome because we all owe you a lot for the entertainment that you've brought us in our lives. The villains were great, the Warlock and the High Evolutionary, although we didn't get a lot of backstory for the High Evolutionary. However, he gave me Thanos vibes in the way that he wanted to play God, much like Thanos. On a base level, I could understand the High Evolutionary, as I said many times before, I haven't read any of the comics, so these villains are new to me. As I see them in the movies, they are completely new to me. So I can come into this without the comic book bias or the purest thoughts that come in with being a person who reads all the comics. I come into it just unexpecting and unknowing and just enjoying it for what it is. So I did enjoy it for what it is. Even though we didn't get a lot of villain backstory, I didn't mind it because they made up for it 
in how much time all of the Guardians of the Galaxy got, how much on-screen time that they got, and how fully formed and developed they were in this film. I feel like they all got a good amount of screen time, which I was really happy with. Mantis stood up for herself. Drax embraced being a father figure again. Nebula is now the leader of Nowhere, and Rocket is now the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the new captain. I also feel like the backstory with Rocket was necessary for that moment in the film where Star-Lord told him that he's the new captain now. Without all of that backstory, it would have been like, oh, I wonder why he made Rocket the new captain. But Rocket is just this intelligent raccoon. Now it's confirmed he's a raccoon. We didn't know what he, well, it was a long running joke that he wasn't a raccoon. He wasn't this, he wasn't that. He, he just, we just didn't know what he was. And now we have the answers to that. Groot, he finally said more words than just I am Groot. He said, I love you, which was huge. Major plot twist. And also Gamora. Wasn't expecting to see her in this film and I was pleasantly surprised that she was. They made it really realistic. If they had put her in this film and were like, oh yes, she's going to be a part of the Guardians of the Galaxy again and she's back in love with the Star-Lord, I probably wouldn't have bought it, to be honest. I would have thought, okay, so they're just trying to do us fans a service here, but they haven't built it up at all. So they made it realistic and I appreciated it. I think if Gamora and Peter get back together, I would want it to be in the most organic way possible. And they did that. They had a moment at the end of the film. They had a moment before the end of the film too, where they locked eyes and they were on the floor. So they have had two moments together and Peter's made it very known that he still loves her as well. So that's in the back of her head. If there's another Guardians of the Galaxy movie, which I hope that there is based on the post credit scene, I hope that they can eventually find their way back together. They're great together. They had so many great adventures together. I felt like they were my galaxy mother and father. <laughs> they were just so cute. So I appreciated how organic and how natural their relationship was like it's not going to be perfect because this isn't the Gamora that we know and she's reiterated that multiple times throughout the film learning about Rocket's past was incredibly sad it was the saddest part about this film had no idea that's the biggest thing had no idea he had this dark sad past that he wouldn't talk to anyone about not even Groot because him and Groot they're very close and you know Mantis and Drax are really close Nebula is not really close to anyone she kind of just hates everyone. I really didn't like how hard she was being on everyone in this film, but again, that's just her character and they wanted to be true to her character. She did soften up quite a bit at the end of the film, especially when she realized that Drax is not completely stupid. Drax has more to offer than just destroying. He's a father at heart and he knew how to speak the language. He helped at the end of the day and she realized that she realized she can't just take people for granted she has to give people the benefit of the doubt she has to trust in her team and she redeemed herself in that way because she was irritating me throughout the film i'm not gonna lie but i'm glad that she came around i don't know how i would rank this guardians of the galaxy with the other two guardians of the galaxy but i loved it a lot it was super entertaining the mission was so important because we all love rocket they all love rocket rocket is a massive part in the guardians of the galaxy without him it just it wouldn't feel right and i know that they all sort of went their separate ways. Well, they didn't all go their separate ways, but they're just splitting for now because Peter needs to do what he has to do on Earth and Mantis needs to figure out what she wants. And so they've split momentarily. I hope that they'll get back together and go on some more missions together. And I think that'll be really cool. But I think it's really important for them to step away from each other. Peter was not doing very well at the beginning of this film. He was borderline alcoholic, just drinking himself to sleep pretty much every single night. He needed to step away. He needed to just be with his family for a little bit. Mantis needed to figure out what she needed to do. And hopefully when they return, they will have figured out what they needed in life and be stronger together. Really great film, probably would rate it a nine out of 10. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this reaction, you can give it a big old thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. If you're after the uncut version, you can find that over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. There will be a timer. I can be on one screen and the movie can be on the other screen. Besides uncut reactions, you can also find early access to my content, bloopers, behind the scenes, polls, life updates, all that good stuff. And you can also find all my social media links in the description bar and the pinned comments down below too. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, 
and my vlog channel Vera Cherry. So guys, thank you so much for watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 with me. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. Until the next video, I will see you next time and take care of yourselves. Bye everyone.